Hi, this is Emma from Talk To Me English and I'd like to quickly show you how I've been using the DU Recorder to make tutorials for my students and blog by making a video recording of my Android phone screen. You can download the app for free from Google Play Store and when you open the app it looks like this. Let's start with the settings. Up here in the right, the top right hand corner of your screen, if you click on the settings, you'll see that you have many different options. You can choose the video resolution, the video quality, the frame rate. To be honest, I kept the automatic and recommended settings for my videos. Enable the record audio. To record your voice in addition to the screen in your tutorial. And I also recommend enabling the brush. As you can see now, I'm using the brush to highlight the area of the screen that I'm talking about. And I think that this makes it much easier for your students to follow your instructions. When you've finished highlighting, you simply click on the X on the bottom left hand side of the screen and then you can continue working with your phone. If you'd like, you can also enable your front camera in order to record yourself during the tutorial video. Like that. You can also change the size and the position of the screen. Now, when the app is open, or when any other screen is open, you will see on the right hand side of the page this little red dot. When you touch it, you'll be able to see your recording tools. If you are not recording, the record button will appear there along with the pause button. Before you start recording, you can use the video tools and you can enable the camera or you can take a screenshot or disable these tools obviously. In the middle of recording your tutorial you can pause at any time and when you've finished you can click stop or touch that stop button. You'll then return to the main page of the app where you can actually open the menu next to the video that you've just recorded. And you have three options. Whoops. You can edit the video. And there are some great tools here to trim, to add music, to add subtitles, to crop, to rotate, and then you must save your changes. If your video wasn't successful, you can also delete it or you could rename the video at this stage. And when you're happy with your video, you can then share it. I use the YouTube option and upload my videos uh, to YouTube. You can also edit them there and then simply share the YouTube link with your students or upload the video to, to a blog or to Facebook. So as you can see, it's really simple to use this application and I think it's very effective. I highly recommend using this great app. I hope you found this tutorial useful.